All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video. In this one, we're going to give our thoughts on AMC announcing there will be 42 or 40 new Sunday episodes of Walking Dead in 2020. All right, so great news in this one for you guys. I'll put the link in the description to comicbook.com, and we'll sort of do this one as kind of a, a Walking Dead uh, dead update type of video, some recent uh, stuff going on with Walking Dead that we haven't touched on this week uh, because I was sick. So getting time to do it now, and definitely wanted to give my thoughts on this one because this one actually has me pretty excited for next year and uh, really happy that AMC is moving forward with this. So uh, 2020, there's going to be 42 uh, <laughs> new episodes of Walking Dead series in uh, in the calendar year. Now we some of us had thought that we might get the Walking Dead movie next year in 2020, but unfortunately it looks like that's probably not the case. We probably won't be seeing that actually uh, being completed by that time because you know we're almost at the end of 2019 now. They decided to go with a big kind of theatrical release, which is which is you know great. It's going to be fun to see Walking Dead in theaters with a Walking Dead movie, and they've said that it's going to have a different feel than the TV series. It's going to be like a big budget type of deal. Um, so. You know, that's good, and as such, it's going to take time. So we're thinking now, probably 2021 for the movie, and, you know, we'll see. Hopefully at least, right? Because by that time, you know, it, like this is season 10, but then by that time, it's going to be like a while, right? So, but huh, what can you do? You know, at least uh, they're going to get it done right instead of, you know, kind of just doing some small TV movie that disappoints people. Uh, they're going to take their time and do something big, and it's going to be great. But I guess we should still kind of look at uh, 2020 as the year of the dead, so to speak, because it is going to have 42 Sundays a year uh, with New Walking Dead episodes. Of course, with there being... Um, uh, 40 or sorry 52 uh, weeks in a year if you're going to have 42 new Sunday episodes uh, that means that you only have really 10 weeks off from the year and then pretty much the whole rest of the year you can look forward if you're a Walking Dead fan to seeing uh, the series on on TV now we'll have to see how the third series uh, I don't know if it's called Walking Dead Universe or if they're going with a different name uh, maybe that is what they're calling it. it's just Walking Dead Universe um you know, and, and what that looks like and whether or not people are going to like that or they're not and just how that's going to be. But apparently it is going to be kind of, um, you know, uh, around the same kind of uh, or at least connected to uh, the other Walking Dead series or at least the original Walking Dead series. We'll also fear too because they did the helicopter thing with the Commonwealth and stuff with... Uh, with uh, Althea, so uh, connected to the other series, which is which is good too. And so you basically have almost every almost every weekend of the year you have something new Walking Dead on, whether or not you choose to watch all the different series. Now, if you if you don't want to, that you you don't have to. That's totally fine, right? There's lots of people who watch the. Um, the Walking Dead original canon series. Maybe they don't watch Fear, and maybe they haven't for a while, or maybe they never have. Uh, maybe after the first season, a lot of people you know didn't really watch it past that, or uh, you know maybe they never read the Walking Dead comic book series. And now that the comics are over, uh, I think this is actually a really good thing that they're doing this. And you know that's really what it comes down to is if if people are not interested in a certain series, they don't have to watch it. And you get sixteen episodes, of the, or yeah, sixteen episodes of the original uh, Walking Dead canon. Uh, they call it Mothership series here, uh, or I just call it the original. You know Walking dead series on the original brand name uh and then 16 episodes of fear as well too so you have 32 there and then the third series will be 10 episodes and then that leaves just 10 weeks without walking dead episodes on each sunday um so man that's great so what i'll do i think too also is when i do the reviews next year we'll do like recaps of the episodes first and then we'll kind of give our thoughts on it afterwards. That way, if people miss a certain week, since there's going to be so much on, then they can just kind of watch a recap video, get an idea of what happened, and they'll be you know well prepared to watch the next episode the following week if they uh, don't have a chance to watch a particular episode for whatever. So that's the top one. Let me know what you guys think about 42 Sundays a year for Walking Dead. Uh, it's better than nothing. You know, if you guys saw my video this week on Game of Thrones, one of the prequel series for Game of Thrones has been uh, shit canned. So uh, as a result, you know, that's not going to get done. And it's it was the prequel one that was supposed to start in the spring. Now there's going to be, I think, House of the Dragon. So there's some other stuff they're working on. People are saying like, well, there's like five they're working on for Game of Thrones. But really, the, the main one they were going to start with got canceled already. Uh, and maybe the second one got uh, maybe got an order. So it's just good to see, you know, The Walking Dead kind of continuing on strong 
and building on what they have and using the license and uh, you know it just makes me think for for some other series that are really popular and really kind of out there uh, of how maybe they could you know kind of do more with them and it looks like they're trying to but they haven't been able to yet for uh, for kind of Game of Thrones but for Walking Dead really happy stuff and I'm so glad to see it's kind of continuing on forward strong because I love doing this with you guys and I want to continue to be able to do that and it looks like next year we're going to be at least at least a bit busy right so that's fine um the next one is for uh, Kari Payton, who, of course, plays uh, Ezekiel in The Walking Dead, calling for the shutdown of Walker Stalker Con, saying uh, that, uh, you know, there's, okay, he said, quote, I'm not coming, Norman's not coming, Melissa's not coming, Denai's not coming, Cooper's not coming, confirming more. Time to shut the shit down. So he, he tweeted that and uh, just sick of it. So I don't know exactly what happened here. There's like a, a the CEO of it, I think, uh, walked out or something like this. And uh, last year, I think there was an issue with uh, some of the uh, the stars not getting paid for going to the Walker Stalker comic. They got either shortchanged or they weren't able to pay them or something like this. Uh, with The Walking Dead kind of not being as hot as it was several years ago, uh, obviously a convention based solely around that, um, you know, might be kind of starting to kind of uh, kind of come down as well too. And it sounds like they uh, maybe didn't adhere to their um, you know their contracts or adhere to, uh, to to paying people what they had agreed to. And some people didn't get paid. At least that's what some of the articles said before, uh, not just now, but you know, uh, in I think it was around the summertime to late spring when we saw stuff like that. So I don't know if that's true. I don't know if it's wrong because it's just misreported or whatever, and people did get squared up. But it's not cool because you know, uh, for those of you guys like you know, if they have to go, if they have to go all the way there, and they have to kind of you know take time off, and of course, you know, if they're in a if they're in a series like uh, like Ezekiel, as we just found out, you know, <laughs> the spoiler warning, right? Ezekiel six, so. Um, you know, their time can be limited, so you can't have people messing around like that. If they agree that, okay, we're going to pay you this much to come and do this, and they're not, it's not like a regular job where they're kind of, uh, their career is housed in a job where, you know, they show up every week, they get paid. If they're, if they're sick, they get paid. If they get vacation time, they get paid, whatever. You know, for people in that kind of space, it's more like, you know, when they're in a hot series, they can make it, they got to make it. And then, if you know, and then they might go for a while in between stuff and looking for another role, looking for something else. So they can be a bit struggling for a while. So when they're when they're when they're doing well and they have you know agreements and things like this, they have to make it when they can make it because later on they don't know how long it might take them to find the right role for them again or something like this. Especially with a series like The Walking Dead, where it's like you know anybody could be kind of killed off at any time almost. Um, you can't do that. You know, you got to honor your contracts. It's crazy. So, but then there was also one about the actress, I think, who plays uh, uh, it, uh, Kelly, is it? Angel Theory uh, was reportedly, it was, quote, verbally assaulted by a member of the convention's security staff. So, uh, you know, I don't know if maybe they didn't know who she was or if she had her, uh, you know, like an aid, aid dog there or something like that. I read something like this. You guys can read online if you want to, if you want to hear about this. But uh, it just sounds like very unprofessional and, and like the worst PR you can ever, you can ever imagine. The worst PR you can ever want to see out there is that um, you have uh, a, a, an actress with a disability that um, gets harassed by your incompetent security. That's the worst. That's the worst. It really doesn't get any worse than that. I mean, if you get, if that gets out there, you know, it's like, you know, I mean, and, and, you know, if you're going to hire people to work at that kind of, don't you think they should even know who the people are who are coming there and they should understand like, okay, I know that person and that person and that person, like they should be caught up so that they know it's kind of like a prerequisite. You know, if you're going to secure people, you should know who you're supposed to secure from who. <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't know, man. It's just crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, oh man, um, it's bad. So calling for the shutdown of that. So if any of you guys are thinking about going to Walker Stalker Con, you know, maybe think twice about it or just if they promise certain people will be there, just be kind of a uh, little bit, you know, I mean, you can still go. I don't want to say, well, don't go. But I'm just saying that, you know, just be a little bit kind of uh, careful with your expectations because if certain people maybe don't show up or if they promise something and then, you know, I, don't, I wouldn't want you guys to be let down if they say that a certain guest is coming and then the person says they're not and then there's a miscommunication. You think they're going to be there and they're not. You know, that's really a disappointment for um you know, for fans for sure. Um, so we'll do a few questions for this one for today. Jay says, uh, Q&A Trev, uh, do you think that Rosita and Eugene will end up together? So eventually Rosita and Eugene will end up together in the TV series version. No, I don't think so. Uh, they sort of did that a little bit in the uh, the comics, kind of. But in the TV series, I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, there's too many <laughs> other people there. Uh, Rosita's Rat Pack is too large uh, in the TV series. We have like Gabriel, you have Sadiq. Um, you know, it's uh, it's... 
no, and then Eugene as well too. And, you know, it's just like a, uh, I don't know. Uh, no, uh, I don't think so. I, I don't think we'll see that. Uh, plus, they did the radio thing last year, which they haven't come back to, which uh, which they might do, which could be Stephanie, who in the comics was a love interest for Eugene. So we could be seeing that set up, um, you know, pretty soon. B. Kip says, uh, don't take Luke, uh, take Magna. Zero charisma. Yumiko is awesome, but Magna, not so much. Uh, at least with Luke, uh, you get some humor. That's that's probably true. Magna is really unlikable right now, uh, but we'll see if they can kind of bring her back a little bit uh, in the future here, because I'm not sure where they're really going with her. She's very unlikable right now. I, I have to say that, um, especially after this recent episode. She's extremely unlikable. Uh, Kim Halfley says, uh, Aaron is a jerk. He ignored Lydia being bullied during the training. Um, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, it's That's a tricky situation, right? It's kind of like uh, maybe he did a little bit, but um, it's probably something like he knows is going to happen anyway because she's a whisperer and uh, the whole thing is crazy. You know, he did even help out Gamma there in this episode. So it's like he's not a bad guy, but there's just other stuff going on. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, it's more complicated than that. I think that, you know, he's... I don't know. It's it's kind of tricky, right? There's a lot to that. So um, CR says so there aren't ever going to be any movies. So they're only saying that so people will keep watching the show. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, no, I think they're going to get the movie done, man. There's a there's a universal deal already. I think um, they're going to get at least one movie done. Whether or not we'll see a second and a third, uh, I don't know. I hope so, but at least we'll see one movie. Uh, let's see past that what happens uh, after that. And then FFA Adams called Aaron a bionic fag. So some people don't like Aaron just because he's gay. I don't think that's fair. Um, you know, it's like, because personally, I like Aaron a lot. I think he's, a, he's great. He's kind of our, sort of our replacement for Rick that we have in the TV series version now, uh, at least in look and stuff like that, which uh, apparently was an accident, according to Ross Marquand. It wasn't intentional. It just kind of worked out that way. Um, I don't know if I believe him or not, but <laughs> uh, yeah, you shouldn't hate him just because he's gay, man. You know what I mean? Like you should, you should look at him the same. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever his sexual preference is, the character's sexual preference is, that's up to him. You know, that's uh, that's not something that you should, you should, uh, you know, just cast him out entirely just because he's gay, right? That's not, that's not right, man. That's not fair. Anyway, uh, that's it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think. Leave your uh, comments below if you liked it. Please thumb it up below. You can share, you can favorite, and you can subscribe at the bottom left. I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, this trip. Same piece. Later, guys. See you soon.